This is now loading for the week of April 15th, 2013, your source for a quick fix in the latest news and releases in the video game industry. There's a handful of titles hitting the market this week, so let's run down a couple of the big ones. First off, although it has taken a couple years, the action RPG Pandora's Tower is finally making its way stateside. The game, which was originally released way back in 2011 in Japan, is the final piece of the fan-led Operation Rainfall puzzle, which pushed Nintendo to bring a trio of high-profile Japanese RPGs to the States. All three were released to rave fan reception in Japan, but not here. That has all changed thanks to dedicated fan support and companies like XC Games. The game is now here and certainly pushes Nintendo's Wii to its technical limits. On the digital front, Sacred Citadel is available for the Xbox Live Arcade, PlayStation Network, and PC via Steam. This game takes the classic action RPG series Sacred and takes it in an entirely new direction. The Sacred Universe is now more colorful and more approachable than ever. The series is making the transition to a side-scrolling beat-em-up akin to the likes of Turtles in Time or Streets of Rage. Keeping in tune with the original Sacred series, the game features a variety of character classes who can all be upgraded and enhanced as you progress through the adventure. Up to four players can play together both online and off, making this an adventure meant to be enjoyed with your friends. The big release this week is Injustice Gods Among Us which is available for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo's Wii U. This is a new breed of fighting game that aims to deliver the comic book experience from the world of DC Comics. We're not just talking about comic book experience in the sense of character variety, but also in the sense of battle. We're talking large scale battles that come across more as epic set pieces rather than simple one on one skirmishes. The game is full of both familiar and unfamiliar faces from DC's lengthy history including Batman, Superman, Man, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Raven, and even Killer Frost and Ares. Featuring amazing visuals, interactive environments, and a ton of content for both gamers and comic book fans alike, this one is shaping up to be a huge hit. Things were pretty quiet on the news front this week, with the biggest story being the announcement of Batman Arkham Origins. Warner Brothers announced the next installment in the Batman Arkham series as launching this fall. It's headed to a variety of platforms this October, and it will serve as a prequel to the popular franchise. This time around, the game is being developed by WB Montreal instead of Rocksteady, who's been credited with making the series as great as it has. Set years before the original Arkham Asylum, the infamous Black Mask has put a bounty on the Dark Knight's head. Therefore, all of Gotham's supervillains, as well as a variety of assassins, are out to take him down. While the core combat system is remaining intact, the new development team is promising a variety of new layers and tactics for the experience. In addition to the main title, Warner Brothers will also be releasing a portable entry in the series, entitled Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate. This title is being developed for both the PlayStation Vita and Nintendo 3DS, courtesy of Armature Studios. This is a 2.5D style Metroidvania adventure set on the isolated island at the Blackgate Penitentiary. The game will have more of a free roaming feel to it, allowing players to explore and complete the different sections of the game at their own will. Both titles are expected to release this coming October. For more information on all these games and more, including the full list of this week's releases, be sure to check out GamingNexus.com.